Do you ever hear that great things come in little packages? That's definitely the case with this new number four skillet from Lancaster Cast Iron. If you've been following me for a while, you've probably seen my number eight skillet and my number 12 skillet from Lancaster. These things have been workhorses around my house. This number eight gets used one to two times per day, every day of the week. Amazingly smooth, but there's one thing missing from these skillets. Lancaster Cast Iron came out with a big improvement when they came out with this number four. Let's open the box and I'll show you what I'm talking about. First of all, look at their packaging. Your skill is not going to get damaged in transport. Great box. Right there. And there's a little skillet. Can you see what they added? They've added a helper handle now. They're going to be redesigning all their skillets to include a helper handle. So stay, stay tuned for that on their larger skillets as well in the near future. But today, we're going to cook something special in this little skillet. You know me. We're heading to the grill. Let's show you what we're doing. And we're gonna try making some Argentinian provolone cheese dip. My first time making this, just kind of winging it. This is gonna be my take on it. Definitely not gonna be authentic. First of all, if you've been following me for a while, you know I love animal fat. So we're gonna use some bacon up instead of the traditional olive oil. Just get a nice little bit on your fingers. I'm gonna smear it all around this pan good. Not only will this keep it from sticking, it's gonna add a lot of flavor. Next, of course, you're going to need some provolone cheese. It's about an inch here worth of slices. I couldn't find any big slices of provolone cheese at the store, so I had to have this. We just stacked it up, put that in. Let's add a little bit more flavor. Some dried oregano here. I think fresh would be better, but we're just winging this. Going with a little bit of the classic from the Fire and Smoke Barbecue Company. Put that on top. Get this on the grill. We got all these vents wide open. See what we can go for for heat. We're gonna put this over the direct heat for now. It starts getting too crispy. We'll move it off indirect and let it finish up. It's been a couple minutes here over direct heat. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this indirect. It's about 10 minutes. This kettle's been rocking about 400 degrees. Take a look at that cheese. If you look at that, if you don't have a grill, do it in the oven. I can't wait to dig into this. Got this beautiful provolone cheese we made in our number four Lancaster skillet. Gonna scoop a little bit of that out, put it right on that meat with all that fat. Let's go. Man, this goes just perfect with this picanha. Steak and cheese, man, come on. Who needs bread? We can eat this good. Mm-hmm. 